Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Monday to everyone. Hope and pray you had an awesome weekend. Maybe a chance to go check out the balloon fiesta, and if not, to be able to at least wake up early enough to see the balloons up in the air and enjoy the beautiful weather this weekend. So uh, let's, let's move forward by the grace of God, Cardinals, understanding that this week we have um, an early dismissal on Wednesday and we have parent-teacher conferences on Thursday. So Cardinals, today is the last day uh, before progress reports are printed for you to try to make up as much of that missing and or have worked with your teacher to identify when's the cutoff day that they had. Uh, but keep this in mind, Cardinals, we're just at so-called mid-trimester. So the progress reports are not permanent records. You still have every opportunity for the next couple of weeks to get the grade that you and your parents hope to achieve during this first trimester. Uh, but this is a good opportunity for you and your parents to check in with you uh, at parent-teacher conferences to see how things have been going so far this school year and to make sure that you finish the trimester strong and know everything that you need to in order to be successful um, going forward. Okay, Cardinals? So keep up the good work and make sure that you're getting your work done, Cardinals. Make sure you're turning in your homework um, because that makes a big, big difference in your overall grade. Okay? All right, Cardinals. If we could take a moment now to breathe in the Holy Spirit, put on our Christ, and let us listen to today's word. The focus of this week's reading is on serving others. Jesus asks us to have a servant, a servant's heart. A heart of service does not seek greatness, power, or prestige, but seeks ways in which the needs of others are placed above our own. When we help, care for, and need meet the needs of others before our own, we are loving our neighbor as Jesus wants us to. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, but not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? It is not the one at the table, but I among you as one who serves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So brothers and sisters, our human nature is typically selfish and our human nature typically wants to be served. It's typically, what about me? Right? I think we can look back over the course of any given day and many a times we put the needs of our, our own needs before the needs of others. And Cardinals, it takes a little while to kind of retrain or try to uh, develop the habit of rather than putting yourself first, it is putting the needs of others before you. And so, brothers and sisters, one of the biggest challenges, even for adults, is to learn to become servants, to become humble servants. And what do I mean by a humble servant? There are those individuals who are all about serving as long as they get the praise that comes with being a servant, right? So somebody who takes time to, to provide and serve others, but in the meantime, as soon as they're done, they want to look around or even during, they're looking around to see who's paying attention. So that way they could get those accolades or that acknowledgement of, hey, great job on serving the needs of others. Brothers and sisters, we should do this purely from the heart of, of Christ in a way that we are just giving of ourselves to the point where we expect nothing in return. And Cardinals, that's part of the journey in becoming a humble servant is recognizing that you're not serving for the sake of getting something in return. You're serving for the sake of serving because that's what Jesus did and that's who we're called to be. So it takes a little while to get there, Cardinals. And, and I just pray that all of you and, and myself included, continue to challenge ourselves on what it means to be a humble servant. Challenge ourselves to serve others. Challenge ourselves to put the needs of others before our own, uh, because that's the amazing example that Jesus left behind. And so let us continue, Cardinals, to pray for one another, support each other in that light, that we are making every effort to, to put the needs of others before our own, um, and, you know, 
first thing I think about is our, our amazing teachers. Students, if you only knew how much your teachers do to put the needs of you as Cardinals before their own needs, um, you'd be hopefully uh, appreciative and, and be a people of gratitude that recognizes how hard your teachers work, how much sleep they give, sometimes give up, um, and, and how much um, rest they give up just for the sake of making sure that they're doing right by you, Cardinals. So thank God for the gift of teachers. They are humble servants. Thank God for the gift of all those who serve community. Thank God for all those who are volunteers and do the good work uh, without expecting anything in return. We need to give thanks to God for the gift of all of them, right? Amen. So let us continue to walk in that light, Cardinals, making every effort to be like Christ and to be humble servants and to serve God's people. Hope and pray you have a wonderful day, Cardinals. God bless. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world.